Здравствуйте, ребята, мальчики и девочки. В тудейшем тесте we gonna check out this beautiful fuse box from Frederick Effects from Anglia, England. It is based on Big Muff by EHX Electroharmonics. To be even more uh, specific, this particular effect is based on the Russian version uh, of, of Electroharmonics, which was branded Electroharmonics and Softec and made in Russia. Uh, I think it was in 80s. Well, I'm not sure at the moment, so I'm waiting for your comments uh, to tell me. Uh, of course, uh, just to remind you, you are watching another guitar channel, and another guitar channel is the channel for all those guitarists who cannot play the guitar, but they love to turn the knobs. So we're going to turn those knobs today. There's three knobs in these effects. <coughs> uh, one is volume, which will make you louder. One is a tone which will make you muddy or more squeaky and one is sustain which will make you last longer. <laughs> you can do it longer. And the sustain is gain really. Uh, you know, when they were making this effect they was already making LPM or one I think and that's what it's based on. I'm talking about electroharmonics at the beginning of the 70s and actually the aim was to make the effect which is giving you a very very long sustain uh, with your with your guitar. So so that's why probably it's called sustain but it's sustain with gain. So it, it is like that because it, it makes it makes it more raw roar when you when you turn it down and up, you know, I mean up rather makes more roar and less roar is when you turn it down. Anyway, that's what that's what it is. And actually this based, like I said, on the on the big muff. Big muff is one of the famous, if not the fa if, if if not if not the fa most famous uh, uh, fast pedal on the market. It's used since 70s by many, many guitarists in many kinds of music, from uh, progressive rocks and psychedelia like Pink Floyd, through pop music up to uh, indie rock, grunge and stoner rock. Sometimes even people use it uh, in metal music and, and any other genre, maybe not in jazz, fast jazz. Uh, but anyway, uh, so so it is very, very popular effect. And actually, like I said, I think the big math is like, you know, it's when you got this picture with all those phases in the world, the, mi the big math will be in, in the middle of it somewhere, somewhere with maybe two or, or, or three other effects which started the game and then everything will go out of out of this you know what i'm talking about <laughs> uh freddy frederick effects are made in barnet in in the uk north london uh by one guy called tim webster who's fascinated with uh, stuff from uh, behind the iron curtain and actually he's he's making for example effects based on his germany effects so it had to be done by him but actually he's making effect which is based on the Russian effect it's not really Russian effect it's American effect using Russian parts made in Russia by American company it's very it's quite strange story I think I read it, this story once somewhere somewhere ago and I don't remember what was the reasons of, of this the labor or or the parts I don't I don't know I don't remember now so I'm waiting for your comments just to just to tell me the story and of course I will read it read it and I will check it out but you know I'll leave it in the in the zone of in the zone for you to check out what was the causes of it and why why was it done like that uh, another thing which I would like you to guess and find out is what is this plane here is it Ilyushin, is it Mikoyan, Mig, or is it Suhoi, or, or what the hell is that? Or Yakovlev, what, what is it? So if you are into, into planes as well, especially military planes, just have a look 
uh, at the picture and tell me what could that be. I was trying to find out a picture with very specific, uh, you know, like those ribs of the engine or something here. I couldn't find it. So, so that's like a, a riddle for you. Uh, if we go in to talk how it sounds, well, you will listen how it sounds. It sounds classic. It's very well made and it sounds very good and actually there's absolutely no hums, no cracks when you turn in the ports. There's no noises coming out of, of this effect, so absolutely be beautifully made. It sounds like a classic fuzz effect. Sometimes it's noisy, sometimes it's not noisy, sometimes it's like choking, sometimes it's not choking, sometimes it's got lots of squeaky notes when you when you turn it like that, for example, it sounds quite squeaky and strange. It can be very muddy as well. And you with this knob of the tone will find the frequencies that actually you need in your band to be heard and to create music with your, with your mates without any problem. Like I said, the sustain is like like the gain, there's a couple of gain stages here. It's cascading, it's cascading gain. So actually, uh, as well, if you turn it up, it will start to choke, and it will start to eat itself in some way, and that's that's what it's making. But if you are into fuzzes, you already know what it is all about. True bypass, of course, without any problem. Beautiful green color, like a like a jacket of uh, East German of East German soldier or militian. Uh, well made, like I said, just listen to it. I've used two guitars and I've used one amplifier. One guitar is a uh, Polish made, handmade custom guitar by Michał Wojtas. You can, can you see it here, how, it, how it's called, spelled? Yeah. So if you are looking for a good uh, and quite cheap, reasonable price, uh, handmade instrument you can go to to Michal Wojtas and actually he will make it for you. He, he never had done two same guitars. I think that's a good recommendation. So he's, it's not like a like a you know serious production. And then there is another guitar which is a serious production and it's very good as well. You cannot buy it anymore new. I've got it brand new almost. It was in the sh in the shop and actually they found it for me. And it's called Samik Silvia from JTR series. Beautiful instrument. I'm I'm amazed with it. Some guy from uh, Gibson uh, was like involved in you know making it all here. It's a very 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 very, very good guitar. Then I'm using uh, then I'm using one amplifier like I said it is Mesa Boogie single rectifier I'm using in when I'm playing with the white guitar with Samic, I'm using this effect rather as a booster, and when I'm playing on the on the Voitas on the Polish guitar, it's with the clean channel or slightly slightly crunchy channel, and then I'm using rather this effect as the source of distortion, and that's it. Selection 80, lead classic lead 80 is it called, and then. Uh, Prototype Matamp, Matamp uh, cabinet with MB75 inside from the brand called T-Bone. Absolutely no related with them. And then, like I said, single rectifier. I think that's it. Just listen to it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really sorry for my chaotic uh, conversation today. Because uh, I woke up 6.30 in the morning and I'm dying. I need to sleep. Bye.